Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and this is part three of Fred's new stand. So in the previous videos we built the upper part of the torso and then added a bust piece in the bottom. In this video we're doing the chest plate. So I've printed out these parts. These are from the inmove.fr website. Uh, the upper chest there's, I used the hollow uh, center plate. Um, you can get it with the letters embossed in it or as a hollow so you can use separate letters. I printed those in blue uh, and then I've used the separate letters in white. I've also gone with the Passive Eye R with the single hole in the middle and then the two ultrasonic sensors, one on each side, just above where the connect would normally go. You may have noticed I haven't welded in the parts for the bust itself or the bust stand and that's so that I can upgrade to put the lower part of the body on if I want to down the track. I will let weld the chest up though as a single piece. So there are all the parts including some of the mounts. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to go getting that chest piece in the middle in and out. Uh, that's going to be fun. But let's get into this and see how we go.
Okay, I think that'll do for this video. Um, things I've still got to do is sand down these joints so that they are nice and smooth. Um, and then I might paint it. I'll do that with this centre part removed. I might actually bleed a bit of glue in the middle there and cure that as well, just so that it fits better. I, having it screwed in, um, I can replace that with a different colour if I want to. I'm thinking I might paint this outside part a nice red, since I like the red frame on the uh, previous build of Fred. Um, I've got some ultrasonic sensors coming for these holes. Uh, these ones here and here, and I'll order in another PIR for here. They can all be mounted in from the other side. Uh, this slot in the ultrasonics and then there's holes in the back to screw in. And they can all be wired back to a... I think I might use an Arduino Nano. I've got an Arduino Nano I've allocated for the, uh, the Bally lights. Uh, with the logo and everything on there. So I might um, put all of that together and then I can access that through my robot lab at a later date. Or maybe even make it a an I2C device that I can talk to. But that's that'll come in a later one. But I will need an Arduino Nano tomorrow to the two ultrasonics and the passive infrared. So if you like these builds, don't forget to click on like. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, click that notification bell so you're notified when new videos come out and I think in the next video we'll look at doing the back cover so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that and we'll see you in the next video